Okay, class, listen up. Let's settle down, guys. Listen, we only have a few more minutes until the weekend, okay? All right, listen, so why don't we uh, recap with a little sex ed Q&A, all right? Come on. What is abstinence? Ivy. Not having sex. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Not having sex. Yes. Abstinence is abstaining. Or in other words, not having vaginal, oral, or anal sex. All three of those counts as having sex. All right, next question. What bodily fluid transmits sperm? Zach. Semen. OK. Next question. What four bodily fluids transmit sexually transmitted infections and HIV? Zach. Semen. Yes. Blood and vaginal fluid? Yes. Breast milk. My cousin just had a baby, and her doctor tested her for HIV. I didn't know they did that. Yes, they do, and thank you very much for sharing. All right? What are the characteristics of someone who gets pregnant, an STI, or HIV? What, what, do, they, what do they look like? Seth. The girls with the makeup and the short skirts. You know, the flirts. Yeah, what else? Yes. The ones who are always making out, you know, in the hallways or behind the stairwells, and especially at parties. Okay. Both very interesting answers, but no. It's not certain people, but certain behaviors that lead to someone getting STIs, HIV, or getting pregnant. If you were having unprotected sex, any of the three kinds of unprotected sex, if you're having sex at all, then you are at risk. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter who you hang out with. It's about whether you're having sex or not as to whether you're at risk. What is the only 100% effective means of preventing HIV, STIs, and pregnancy? Seth. Pull out. <laughs> no. Because then you're still at risk. And that's a risk I don't want any one of you to take. The only 100% effective way is abstinence. Now I know it's a big word, and it's not a word that you guys are gonna use with your friends, but you know what? Let's try this. Just wait a while, okay? Okay. Okay? okay. By a show of hands, how many of you are involved in sports? Okay, how many of you are involved in uh, the music program? Band, orchestra, choir? How many of you have other responsibilities, like, like taking care of uh, younger siblings? How many of you guys like going to the mall? Going to uh, the youth group at your church, mosque, synagogue? How many of you guys like going to sporting events, like this weekend's basketball tournament? That's right, show of hands, everybody. See? Just wait a while. Every one of you guys has plenty to do. You're still trying to figure out who you are. And just get to know you better, okay? Find out what your likes are and what your dislikes. Have fun. Focus on school. Focus on the extracurricular activities. Focus on your family and focus on work. And just wait a while. Well, that's the bell, guys. Hopefully you all have a good weekend. Don't forget. Monday, we have the Gay and Straight Alliance meeting during homeroom. I hope to see you all at the basketball tournament this weekend. And listen, I heard about the party tonight. If you guys are going tonight, make good decisions, okay? Have a good weekend, everybody. I love your locker. Thank you. So, how was school? Good, how are you? Uh, so I guess the same as all the other days. Yeah, homework. Yeah, too much. Hey, Lexi, what's up? What are we doing today? Hey. I really want to go to this party. I hope my mom lets me. She should, but why is she so strict? I mean, your grades are fine, and you're never in trouble. What's her problem? I know, but I had to help my mom out with the baby. Lisa was only 13 when she got pregnant, and my mom is so freaked out that I might get pregnant. Yeah, but you have to have sex to get pregnant. And that, you're not. I know, but I really like Josh. I wonder what's going to happen at the party tonight. I just need to get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm 
so ready for tonight. My sister won't be home, so I don't have to hear her mouth. Yeah, I heard so many people are going to that party tonight. Wait, did you want to go to that party? No, I don't even know them like that. So, what are we going to do at your house tonight? Well, I got Call of Modern Warfare 6 and tons of food and snacks. All right, we got food, snacks, and games. That's what I'm talking about. Did you get Horror Night 5? Yeah, but scary movies are funnier when my sister's home. <laughs> Whoa, I got to catch the bus. See ya. See ya. Tonight's going to be awesome. Okay, I'll see you at home later. See you. Playing games all night, no homework. Tristan's having a sleepover tonight. I'm so glad I'm going to this party. What's up with him? He's been acting weird lately. Yeah, I noticed that too. My mom said to just give him some space. I'm excited but nervous for tonight. Why, you think something's gonna happen with you and Josh? I think so, we'll see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to get to work, time to get to work, time to get to work, get to the gym, get to the gym. Okay, ladies, we have a big tournament game tomorrow, so we need to get some quality work in today. We're gonna start with our closeout layup drill. Everybody understand that? All right, ladies, let's go. It's time to get some work in, time to get some work in. Now, get that rebound, get that rebound. Come on, let's go. Good job, Mia. Come on, Sianna. Give me the pass, remember to pivot. Nice. Okay, quickly, quickly. Right here, good job, good job. That's it, first pass right here, Maddie. Good, good face, good face. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Let's go. Quickly, 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 quickly. All right, get your quick drink. Good work today. Let's go. Get a quick drink. Hustle, hustle. Quickly, quickly. Hey, Emily. What's up? You guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. And I think someone else is ready for something, too. What am I missing? I heard Joe wanted to get on. Um, what? And where'd you hit that anyway? Well, he is my brother, and I heard he has a big crush on you. Whatever. Does he really have a crush on me? Oh! Hey, Katie, my practice ended early, and Mom's gonna come pick you up. Okay. Hey, me, you got a second? Mm -hmm. You coming to the party tonight? I'm not sure. Coaches have curfew, remember? Yeah, but it's not until 10. Come on, live a little. I don't know, I'll see. Ladies, ladies, come on, let's go, let's go. Quick back, bring it back, break's over. Time to get back to work, time to get back to work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, ready, one ball, you can put the rest to the side. We're gonna line up on the other. Really, Mom, still folding clothes? Yes, Lexi, still folding clothes. You know, it's been hectic these past few weeks. I never thought I'd be back to changing diapers and three-hour feedings. Why are you taking care of the baby anyway? It's not yours. Because that's what families do, Lexi. We take care of each other. Lisa's so young. Ever since Dia Maria died, it's been so hard for her. And something every kid needs is someone they can trust and talk to. Theo is so traditional. I know. You know, he doesn't even believe in talking to his own daughter about sex. And look what happened to her because no one spoke to her. Did you know that ever since Dia Maria died, your deal has been abstinent? And it's not just for young kids, you know. You can wait at any age. But it's just not Theo's fault. Lisa did have sex. What did she think was gonna happen? That's the problem. You kids don't think. Nice, Mommy. Thanks. Nana, you know what I'm talking about. She just had so many people she could have talked to. She could have talked to me or Tia Monica or Abuela. I know you're growing up and you're starting to have feelings about boys and you're gonna wanna try new things, but I'm asking you to just wait. There's no rush. Wait for what? For this! I swear sometimes you just say things to piss me off. I'm really not trying to make you mad. You're already yelling at me and we're not even talking about sex. Sometimes, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm nervous to even tell you that I like a boy. I know. I'm sorry. I just don't know what I'd do if you ever got pregnant. You girls are so young. Lisa's only 13. And it just scares me. I know I am, but I am responsible. I have good grades, I help out at home, and I help you change the poopy diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you did. And that one did smell pretty bad. 
But it's not that Lisa was irresponsible. It's just that anything can happen, even having sex for the first time. Ma, I have a question for you. Don't get mad. What is it now? There's this party tonight and I really, really want to go. I don't know. Do I know these people? They go to our church. It's in Josh's house. Okay, I have Bible studies with his mom. And they're a nice family. So, can I go? Okay, but you have to be home at 10.30. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you. I want to see the clothes you're wearing. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, and if any boy tells you that he wants you know what, you tell him your mother will kill you, or that you're scared of getting pregnant, or that you want to wait because of your faith. I don't know, just pick one. But I'm serious, okay? I mean it. I know. Oh, and Lexi, I can't give you a ride. It's okay, Julissa will take you. Hey, Tristan, Solomon's on his way. You guys come on in, wash your hands. Oh, you want your cup? Sure, give me. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. When's Dylan gonna be ready? It's in the oven. I'll call you down when it's ready. And stop running! Jordan told me that Tristan's been acting weird lately. He seems the same to me. What's up? Please keep this private, as we haven't shared this with anyone yet. But Tristan came out to Steve and I the other night. What do you mean? He's gay? Seems like it, or at least questioning. How did you guys take it? Well, Steve was a little surprised, but any parent would be. I just don't understand parents that shun their kids when they come out. For a gay child, this is the bravest thing that they can do. And you? Honestly, I'm more scared about what he doesn't know. What do you mean? Well, my Uncle Charlie's gay. He came out when I was very young. But the thing is, he's been living with HIV since the early 90s. How's that a problem? Well, once Tristan came out, he was the first person that we called. Why? I mean, why did you need to call him? Well, having a heterosexual girl, I was always able to talk with her about the dangers of unprotected sex and sex and, you know, wanted her to be prepared, know the risk involved. And we had the family values and morals and abstinence talk. I know. I've been trying to talk to Jordan, but she's so headstrong. The I know it all kid. But she doesn't know it all. She just thinks she does and it's so dangerous. Oh, sorry, keep going. Oh, that's okay. Well, Charlie was pleased that he came out for that he has such a loving and caring environment. You know, like a judge-free zone. Maybe my Uncle Charlie's influence on me and our family is why we want our children to know that they're loved and cared for, regardless of their sexual orientation. Okay, but I still feel like you're not telling me something. Well, I'm going to have the talk with Tristan, but the thing is, the conversations that I've had with Molly have been more about not getting pregnant or the dangers of STIs and HIV. But with Tristan, it's not about getting pregnant. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have the talk more with Molly about anal and oral sex. And you should talk with Jordan about all of it because it's not about being gay or straight. It's more about the risk they're taking, right? Did Charlie give you any suggestions? And seriously, please let me know because this will help me with Jordan. I've had the talk with her, but I never really thought about these other kinds of sex and I really need to talk to her about that. Boys, keep it down. Let me check on this food. Here, let me help. Well, he suggested that Tristan and Molly be a part of the Gay Straight Alliance. I didn't even know the school had one. Me neither. A bunch of kids asked their counselor if they could do it, and they just did it. Both straight and gay. They get together, talk things out. It's really cool. Mr. Schrader, the uh, health teacher, he's the one that runs it. But there's a couple of sensitive things that I need to talk to Tristan about. Like what? 
like you can get HIV or STIs from oral sex or any sex. Using condoms may prevent it some, but it's not 100%. And a lot of them don't even use condoms because they think it's only for vaginal or anal sex. At work, I like to tell people you can get HIV or STIs from any sex. Anal sex is, uh, the rectum is very sensitive, so it can tear internally. Somebody's in nurse mood. <laughs> well, it's just such an important conversation that I need to have with him. I mean, talking about condoms and sex ed is great, but really, I just, I just want him to wait. For me, I was always taught to wait until you got married. But kids these days, they're experimenting. All we want to do is protect them. Yeah, and how can we protect them without talking to them about the dangers of STIs and HIV? About sex in general. I mean, sex is natural. It's going to happen at some point in life, whether it's five or 15 years from now. Well, hopefully later. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also told Jordan that she really needs to pay attention of who she's hanging out with. She told me that her friend is already having sex. What? Yeah. She started out with giving a blowjob and then broke up with her boyfriend. Now she's seeing this guy for five months and she's already had oral and vaginal sex with him. How old are they? She just turned 14 in May. Mm. Well, Molly said she's not in the mood for that right now. And she just wants to hang with her friends. I told her, just come and talk with me whenever you start thinking about it. No pressure. Exactly. If you want to wait, cool. But if there's any questions, I like to be there for her. And if not me, sex ed teacher, the counselor, you or Uncle Charlie. Oh, I love that man. <laughs> All right. Hey, boys, dinner's ready. Come on down. Look, I got to get going. Jordan's going to this party tonight, and I really need to talk to her about Josh. I mean, he's a nice guy, but you know, nice guys can get girls pregnant too, you know? Mm -hmm. And he looks clean, but you know. I know, I, I know that's right. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Okay. I'm so glad you can make it to the party tonight. Yeah, me and my mom had a crazy conversation tonight. She is so worried about what happened to Lisa. She even gave me some excuses, like having my faith, or my mom will get crazy mad. Did you tell her how you feel about Josh? That would be a big no. <laughs> Josh looks good tonight. Yeah, you should go and talk to him. I can't. Why not? I think he's more interested in Jordan. Yeah, I think we've been dating for a while now. Let's just have fun tonight. Talk for a minute? Yeah, sure. Who knows what he wants, but you know what you want, and that's not sex. I've been meaning to talk to you for a while. Yeah, I heard. What's that mean? Nothing. I just talked to Katie at practice today, and I just feel weird now. What does she say? You really want to know? Yeah. Why are you talking to your friends about me? What did I say? I'm not gonna repeat it, and I'm not that kind of girl. Listen, that's just guy talk. Whatever, you wouldn't mind if I did. Well, look, it, it's not like that, Mia. Come, come on, I like you. I'm just really nervous. About what? A couple things. First, I'm not allowed to date till I'm 15. Second, I really love basketball. Then homework, violin, just everything else. I didn't realize you played that much. I really love basketball, and I don't wanna risk losing everything, but... But what? I kinda like you too. How about we just start slow? What do you mean? I don't even have your number. Can I have it? Yeah. Maybe we can talk. We can practice together. I'd like that, but I don't want to break curfew. We've got plenty of time, but would you feel better if I got you home early? Yes. Come on, let's go. Where are we 
Want to try something different? What do you mean? I don't know, Jordan. There's, there's a lot of people here. Don't worry. Nobody will bother us here. Wait, I thought I wanted to, but now I'm not so sure. Don't you love me? Of course I do, but... But what? Don't just start and stop. Yeah, but what if I... We don't have to have sex sex. You could just, you know, just go. Let's go back to the party. Come on. I'm going back. I'm sorry. Come back. Just hold on. Nothing. We didn't do anything. I don't know. It's just Josh. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to spend some time with him. I'll see you later. Oh. Shut up, girl. <laughs>